Ah, dang it, Ethan. No, oh, ah, I'm stuck on the rock. Oh, almost. Oh, hello. In case you're wondering what's going on here, I'm trying to catch my fish that I call Ethan Hunt. And Ethan Hunt, as you know, is the main character of Mission Impossible. And I'm living that in real life right now. It has been Mission Impossible to catch this fish. Now my wife and I decided to rehome this little guy. We think he's a super cool fish. He's really fun to watch. But we've lost a few other fish to his aggression. So we've decided he needs to come out so we can get some new fish that are on our list that he's not going to harass. It's a sad day, but um, I haven't had any success catching him so far, but I've got a plan that I know will work. So I'm going to give Mr. Saltwater Tank a call and see what he thinks about my plan. Jimmy, hey man, what, what's going on? Yo, dude, so I have to share a little bit of news with you. You know about my Falco Hawkfish, Ethan, right? He's been pretty frustrating, so my wife and I have decided we're rehoming him. I've been trying to catch that little bugger, and it's been quite frustrating, but I've got a plan I want to run by you. Wait, wait, wait. You've been trying to catch him with that net? Yeah. <laughs> why, why is that so funny? Actually, no. No, I haven't. I moved up to a bigger net. <laughs> okay, well look, the past is the past. Let's just talk about the future. <laughs> this, it hasn't worked chasing him around. You think? <laughs> it's been pretty frustrating. But I remembered, I used to work at a large aquarium um, for a company that's led by a mouse. And um, I worked with some pretty good professionals there that were, did really good with husbandry. And we had a lot of our fish and uh, sea turtles, our sharks, our stingrays were target trained. So they, if we needed to do an exam on say a spotted eagle ray that was in our aquarium, well he was trained where we fed him to come swim over a target and he'd come right there. And because he was right there for his food, we could, you know, give him a shot of medicine if he needed it or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the net in my aquarium and I am gonna get the food and I'm gonna target train my fish. They're gonna do that, and as they come in, they should all learn it. I don't know how I'm gonna single him out, but this is where the food's gonna be. So uh, Ethan's gonna swim right in here, and then got him. Okay. What do you think? You know, there's times in life when you have to give people the answer, and there are times when you just have to let the student learn so this is one of those moments where i'm just gonna let you learn timmy give that a try let me know how it works and then come back to me you don't think it's brilliant i'm i'm gonna withhold my judgment as your friend because you're clearly excited about this go knock yourself out all right i'm gonna start my training and hopefully it won't take too long because they're gonna, you know, they have to come to the food. All right, cool. I'm gonna go start my training and then uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, day one, I've got my cup of mice's shrimp and I got my net. I'm gonna put it down in here and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, watch the fish get used to it. Now this cup, they know. So when they see this cup coming, they usually come running for food. And right now, I think the net's scaring them. But, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do this kind of training. Got one fish that's curious. Let's try a little, little bit of the shrimp in there. There comes one to eat. Maybe a little more food. Here they come. There's Ethan, did you see him? He's coming. 
he'll get used to it. I'll put the net right here. The food goes right in front of the net. There comes one fish. Look at that. Oh, I just caught, I just almost caught one. It'll work. Okay, here we go. This is day three and it's working pretty good. Look at everybody's coming. This is my nighttime fade. We're three days into this. Look at Jacques knows I'm coming with the food. Here's the net and they're already swimming up to it. I'm gonna put just a little bit of shrimp in there. There goes one fish, almost swam into the net. Where is Ethan? Kitten. It was just right there. This is impossible. I got sweat in my eyes. I'll get him. Oh, dang it. Just getting water everywhere and sweat in my eyes. Oh, this is impossible. I better just give Mr. Saltwater Tank a call. These fish tanks are so relaxing. Oh, it's, it's Jimmy. Dude. Oh, I am going through mice's shrimp. I've been at this for three days. I got fish swimming in here, but Ethan won't go in. Ah, oh, I don't even know. This is so freaking frustrating. I, I thought this was going to be a relaxing hobby. And my stress level, I'm sweating my ass off my hands down in the tank. And I'm trying to catch this one stupid fish. All the other fish are getting like trained to my food. And my water's getting all cloudy from mice's shrimp all over the place. <laughs> have you run a water test, Jimmy? Have you, have you, what are your nitrates and phosphates? I, at this point, I don't even care. I mean, because Everything's gonna die anyway if Ethan stays in there. So, I mean, I gotta get him out. <laughs> and at this point, it's like drain the whole freaking ocean. I mean, I gotta do a 179 gallon water change. And look at my microphone. I had, I had my shirt on, but I was, I had my shirt on, but I was sweating my freaking tail off. Even the sweat came off my dang microphone because gotta document everything for YouTube. Oh, at this point, I'm losing my freaking mind. All right, nobody wants to see this. I'll put on a shirt. I took, please, Mr. Saltwater Tank, help this mission impossible. Here's what you do.